LCM of A and 220 is 880 and LCM of B and 210 is 1050. If um, A and B, not and B, if A and B are perfect squares, find B minus A. Finding LCM, doing by the long division common method is one approach, but the approach that I really like is to prime factorize. So I'm going to take 220 and prime factorize it. This is 2 into 110, 2 into 2 into 55, 2 into 2 into 5 into 11. This is 2 square into 5 into 11. This is 220. And then we have A with us. And the LCM is 880. 880 is nothing but 220 into 4. That much I know. So it is 2 square into 5 into 11 into 4. Or this is going to be 2 power 4 into 5 into 11. Nice. Wonderful. Now if I take this LCM, this should be a multiple of this number and this number. Right. That is the, it should be a multiple of 220 and of A. It should be the smallest possible number that's a multiple of both. First of all, this has 2 power 4. 220 has only 2 square. If A also had only 2 square, then LCM will also have only 2 square. If A also had only 2, if A had only 2 power 1, LCM can have only 2 square. If A had 2 cube, LCM will only be 2 cube. This is 2 power 4 or A definitely has 2 power 4. And let's come to 5 and 11. A could have a 5 power 1. A cannot have 5 square. Then a multiple of A has to have at least 5 square here. A cannot be 5 square. Again, A cannot be 11 square. A can be 5, A can have a 5, A can have 11. And 2 power 4 it definitely has. It could have a 5, it need not have a 5. Even then it will work. It could have 11, it need not have 11. It cannot have any other prime. A cannot be 2 power 4 into 7. Otherwise, the LCM will also have a 7. The LCM has only 2 power 4, 5 and 11. It has to have 4 4s, 4 2s. This number has only 2 2s. So, A has to have 4 2s for sure. 5 and 11, it may have a 5, may not have a 5. It could be into 5, it could be into 11, it could be into 5, into 11. Any of those will work. This will still hold good. Now, what are the other bazooka we have? We know that A and B are perfect squares. And so, that means... This number has to be a perfect square. 2 power 4 is 16. 16 is 4 square. That works. If it had a 5 or 11, 16 into 5, 16 into 11, 16 into 5 into 11, they are all not perfect squares. Or A cannot have 5 or 11. A has to have only 2 power 4. Or A is 16. Done. Prime factorize this. Prime factorize this. Then we want A to have some prime, the prime factor that will combine to give this. If A did not have a 2 power 4, the LCM cannot have 2 power 4. So A has to have 2 power 4. 2 power 4 is in A for sure. 5 and 11 may or may not contain. When this 5 can come from here, 11 come from here. So A has to be 16 because it's a perfect square. Same approach for B. I'm going to take 210 and prime factorize it. 210 is 2 into 105. 2 into 3 into 35, 2 into 3 into 5 into 7. So 210 is 2 into 3 into 5 into 7 and B, the LCM equals 1050. 1050 is 210 into 5 or the prime factorization here would be 2 into 3 into 5 square into 7. Now, the LCM has 5 square in it. LCM is a multiple of 25. So, this number is only a multiple of 5. So, the second 5, B has to be a multiple of 25. If B had only 1 5, LCM would also be only have only 1 5. If B has no 5s, LCM can have only 1 5. Or B definitely has to have 5 square sitting here. It cannot be 5 cube because then this will become 5 cube. It cannot be only 5, then this will be only 5. B has to have 5 square in it. Apart from that, it may or may not have a 7, may or may not have a 3, may or may not have a 2. That doesn't matter. It definitely has 5 square in it. Now, we know B is also a perfect square. 5 square is 25. 25 is a perfect square. 
But 25 into 7, 25 into 3, 25 into 2, 25 into 3 into 7, none of those can be perfect square. Or B is just 25, not anything more than 25. B is 25, A is 16, B minus A is 25 minus 16 equal to 9. This part is called prime factorization. Should have the ability to look at each number in terms of combinations of primes. 210 has to be 2 into 3 into 5 into 7. 1050 has to be seen as 2 into 3 into 5 square into 7. You have to see each number as a combination of primes. Then all these inferences become far simpler. Right? Thank you.